Matt. How are we doing? I'm assuming there was no pumpkin patch this time around. No. No pumpkin patch this weekend. No. That could have been bad. I could have busted somebody's phone. I think it's good. Okay. Hey, Matt. So, um, where are you all at in trying to get the offense, you know, back on track here? Yeah, I think, you know, obviously the last two weeks not, you know, up to the standard of, of – you know, how we want to play. And I think that, you know, the only way I know to do it is get back to work and, uh, you know, get back into the meeting room, make sure that we're doing stuff right in the walkthroughs, uh, and then have productive practices. And so that's uh, certainly what we're looking for, you know, today when we get out on the field. But we got to put in the work. And I really think we can do it. We've done it at times uh, throughout the year. And we just have to, um, you know, keep putting, keep putting in great effort during practice and making sure that, you know, we're putting ourselves – um, in positions to be successful when we're playing. Yeah, I went back and kind of looking, you know, at 26 drives and see if something kept coming back up. I, I couldn't get a pattern or anything. That, yeah, I think, I think sometimes, you know, uh, when you have weeks like we've had, you know, it's, it's not one thing. You know, it's, it's little things here and there that add up. Uh, and we, we, we definitely have to be uh, opportunistic. You know, I think – when you get short yardage opportunities, uh, even in a tough game like we had the other night, third and one, fourth and one, uh, that game can shake out very different. And so, you know, we've got we've to find a way to, to be better uh, in those type of situations that are critical. And I think if we can do that, you know, you always go back to your fundamentals and, um, you know, when you're looking to clean things up. I think if we can be better across the board fundamentally, I think uh, that's what's going to help us. And then getting uh, Cal unleashed, uh, I think that, you know, is that a part of it? Or? People are doing different things. Where, you know, where are y'all at with getting the connection fired back up? Yeah, I think, you know, you're a play away from that. I always feel like, um, you know, one explosive play away where you kind of get into a little bit of a rhythm. Um, and it's the same, you know, for, for myself, for him, for all our guys. Uh, it's about, you know, staying, staying on the detail, staying on the fundamental uh, side of it and, and making sure, um, you know, my feet are in good spots, um, you know, using good footwork to get myself in position to deliver the ball. And uh, same thing for him, running routes, making sure that, you know, releases are what we want, stems are, are where we're supposed to be, and uh, the timing and spacing is what you want. So that's what we got to work on this week. I feel pretty good. Yeah, I feel pretty good today. I mean, I don't know what he's what he's taken. Um, you know, I think given, you know, he's 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 given great effort, and you know, anything you ask him to do, uh, any way he can help, um, you know, he comes in with a great attitude every day. You know, those are the kind of guys you like, you know, being around. And uh, he's been a great teammate. He really has. And um, you know, I think he's done a great job learning the system. It's not an easy situation to come into. You know, at the end of camp and. Um, you know, trying to digest everything that, you know, we spent months working on to try and pick that up in a week or two is, is tough. But I think he's done a great job and um, asked a ton of questions and asked really good questions. And, uh, you know, I think he's, he's improved. How much do you know about him going in? Because there were these, you know, preconceptions about him from earlier. Early, early. Like, did you hear any of those going in? Like, did you do any research on him when he first signed here? Or? No, I, I think it's with any teammate, you know, it's – I don't know the other experiences, you know, and, and what the situations were. I always, you know, come in with an open mind. And, um, you know, it's kind of been the same with teammates that have come and gone uh, throughout my career. And, you know, since he's been here, he's, he's, he's been great. He's been a great teammate, worked really hard. And, um, you know, he's a guy that is coming in and trying to get better every day and, and learn as much as he can and uh, help, you know, during the week in, in terms of what we're watching on film or uh, things, you know, he might pick up. Uh, those things are always, you know, helpful in our room. Uh, when it comes to uh, rebounding from, from a uh, rough patch, what's the role of, of the veteran leadership to get the team back going, whether it's you or, or guys in the other side? Yeah, I think it's huge. You know, I think, um, you know, you, you have to stay the course. And, and I think experience, you know, helps you with that. Uh, and, and you got to, you know, try and pass that on to some of the younger guys. Um, you know, we're, we're, we still got seven games to go. Uh, there's a lot of football to be played and a lot of things we can clean up and do better. Uh, we have to correct them now, but 
uh, you can stay the course. You never know what's going to happen. And, and you have to have the belief that um, it just takes one or two plays, one or two series to kind of get you into that rhythm and, and get you rolling. And uh, I think if we can do that, you know, like we've shown at different times throughout the year, we can be explosive and score points and get the job done. Well, I think so, you know, for, for certain guys, you know, people are at different spots in their career and, right. you know, what help helps guys go. You, that's the balancing act of coaching or leadership is, you know, finding the ways to get the guys as, as confident and, and, you know, just in a, the right mental space that, you know, they're going to go out there, they're going to play well. Uh, you're always searching for different things, whether it is showing some of the stuff that we've done well, uh, you know, throughout the year, kind of bringing those clips back up or it's opponent clips that we're going against. Um, you try and use all those things. Is, is that something that you're always trying to kind of absorb or <coughs> kind of mental notes on about, like, how to, how to reach different personalities, right? That, that being a certain way may reach one person but not somebody else. Are you, are you cognizant of, of those types of things? Absolutely. You know, I think leadership, you have to constantly be evolving. Um, you know, I've always believed that in, in the servant leadership type, right? Like where, um, you know, you have the principles and, and, and beliefs and fundamentals that uh, you hang your hat on. But how you get those across, you know, has to be different to, to each individual that, that you're around. Everybody's needs are different and everybody, um, you know, operates in, in their own way. And uh, I think you're, you know, you're always evolving and trying to uh, find the best ways to connect with, with teammates. A major talking point of Arthur over the last couple of days has been we have to play smarter. He's like, we have to play the smartest we need to over the last two weeks. What, when he's talking about playing smarter, what, when you hear that, what does that mean to you? Yeah, I think it's, it's about, you know, doing the basics really well. Um, you know, it's... It's it's making sure that each position, you know, each guy, whatever play is being called, you know, you're you're operating how we're coached to. Uh, you know, you're not trying to do too much sometimes, or uh, go outside the scheme and you know try and do you know something heroic. You know, I think it comes back to, you know, let's do what we're coached. Let's make sure that you know we're we're as fundamentally sound as as we can be, and and let's not have self-inflicted wounds. You know, I think. We probably had too many, you know, penalties. We had some procedural penalties, stuff like that. I mean, those kind of things um, are hard to overcome. You know, they, they, they make it really difficult for you to, to be consistent and efficient. And, um, you know, I think we can do a better job than we've done the last couple of weeks. Well, you know, you'd like to get it, and and that's you know what we're you know working towards is is trying to find you know ways to to be better, um, you know, create chunk runs. You know, it makes it difficult on the defense. Uh, it opens up things in the play action pass. It helps slow down pass rush. Um, it does a lot of those things, and um, you know, uh, we haven't done it up until this point as well as we would like. Uh, but I really believe if we keep working at it, they're going to come, and. Um, you know, we just got to keep hammering away at it. But it certainly helps. You know, it, it certainly helps you do the other things that you want to do. And any thoughts on mac and cheese or other Thanksgiving type of dinner? Mac and cheese? Uh, yeah, it's – I'm like – don't get me wrong, I like mac and cheese. Uh, it just never really was a was a Thanksgiving staple for – in my family. And uh, – I feel like it's more of a southern thing than it, it, it is up north, but I don't know. Um, I like mac and cheese, but it's not a big holiday dish for us. What about mashed potatoes? I like mashed potatoes. Yeah, yeah mashed potatoes are solid. What, what is the staple though? What is the staple fries? Uh, for me, it was like stuffing, dressing, filling, whatever you guys, yeah, whatever you call that. That that's what it was. Um, that's what ours was. Do you eat your cranberry sauce? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Of course. Um, one of my other questions too was obviously it wasn't a game that you want to have for yourself. What do you tell yourself in moments like that after the game um, when you just have games like that and you didn't play so well? I think you just, you know, it's, it's part of sport. You know, sometimes you, you go into it and you do everything the right way and you have yourself prepared and uh, the night doesn't shake out the way you want it to. And 
you go back to work. Um, that's what I've always done. That's the way I've always felt. You know, I always feel like, you know, sometimes the toughest of situations are the best learning opportunities, things you can pick up, things you find out about yourself. Uh, and I think it, you know, you, you grow from going through the tough stuff and it makes you, you know, um, a better competitor, you know, as, as you go forward, a harder, tougher competitor. And um, I've always thought that in, in situations where uh, you go through it and you don't play the way you want. And, uh, how would you describe the chemistry between you and Gage? Obviously, even though the game had come out of your favor, he had moments where he was making plays and you were able to apply him. How would you describe Yeah, I mean, I think I, I've, you know, I've, I've been around Russ for a handful of years. And, um, you know, I think I've got good rapport with him, good feel. I think he does a nice job for us. Um, you know, our production across the board just hasn't been that productive the last couple of weeks. And so I, I do think Russ did some good things in that game the other night, made some really good plays, and that's what I expect from him. And uh, I think we all expect that from him, you know, as we move forward. Coach, you talked about how even after the game, looking at making changes or, or looking at, you know, everything was on tape. Um, for you, though, do you, how much do you think that is more so a personnel thing or is that more so a scheme thing? If it's a scheme thing, I think it's everything, you know, I, I think it's per personnel scheme, you know, I think coaching staffs are, you know, constantly looking at that, uh, even after good games, you know, what can we do better? How can we be more efficient? And uh, from a player standpoint, you know, your week to week, you digest, you know, the information that you get for this week and, and you try and, you know, you try and dive into that game plan and, and what, you know, we're trying to accomplish with certain run plays or pass plays or protections. Um, there's a lot of, of information, you know, from week to week that you got to delete, you know, get it out and then lock in a whole new set of rules or plans for, for the following week. And um, I think sometimes with a, a few extra days off, coaching staff comes in, you know, maybe with some additional things. And, um, you know, we're just trying to do whatever we got to do to win. Yeah, he's a good player, physical, um, you know, has done a nice job for them. Good pass rush, strong against the run game. Um, you know, he's, I, I think he's playing really well for them. And, um, you know, I've been impressed, you know, with watching them the last couple of days of, of how he's played this year. Yeah, Matt, during that, the, the 26 possessions, are the two of the drives started outside the 30? He started at the four last week. Uh, but that's more special teams, I guess, or defense. But um, first down, when you look at first down, are there some things you all can do differently on first down uh, to get the drop, you know, going? Yeah, no doubt. First down efficiency is huge. You know, playing in front of the chains uh, is is critical. You know, third downs are always tough in the league. Right. And, um, <laughs> you know, it's nice when you stay out of them. You know, when you're converting first downs on first and second down, mm -hmm. it, it makes life a lot easier. And, you um, you know, I think I think that's certainly an area we can be better. Arthur talks a lot about building a physical culture. How does the quarterback contribute to that on a daily basis? Uh, well, on a daily basis, I mean, I, I don't know. I work hard in the weight room. You know, I, I do the stuff I have to do. <laughs> no, I've I've always thought, you know, the way the way you you know you show toughness as a quarterback is, you know, how you play. You stand in there, you get up and you keep playing. And, um, you know, I, my job responsibility isn't to go hit people. Um, you know, it's not to block. It's not to, to do those things. My job responsibility is to deliver the football and put us in good positions uh, to be successful with decision making. And um, I think you show, you know, your physicality by getting up and, and keep doing it over and over. Awesome. Thank All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.